Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. The jungle hurricane wrecks the encampment of the Tarzan Gregory Safari. While the storm rages, the bearers desert and attach themselves to Atan Tom. Tom plies the natives with liquor and incites them to attack the Tarzan party. During the attack, Lal Tusk and Gregory are killed. Because of Helen and Magra, Tarzan agrees to a truce. Atan Tom demands the map of Asher and finds it on Wolf. A warning cry from Darno draws the attention of the group to Wolf. Behind him, spear poised, ready to hurl it into his back, crouches Mbouli, the witch doctor. Tarzan, there! Behind Wolf, the witch doctor! <coughs> Move, Wolf! In one swift movement, Tarzan leaps between the two. At the same instant, the native hurls a heavy spear. Tarzan leans to one side. Like lightning, his hand darts out and catches the spear shaft in midair. Buzzy! Mbouli, buzzy! Mbouli, Tarzan. Mbouli, 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 and the layer. Mm, by the belly of Buddha. Ach, Jason, was kann ich sagen? You saved my life. This is the result of the whipping you gave him, Wolf. A native never forgets. He caught the spear in the air. What do you think now, Atantum, of Tarzan of the East? I do not know. And Gregory was powerful, but this man, Tarzan... You've been crazy, Tom. There ain't nobody can do what Tarzan does and unless he was born and raised in the jungle. I told you, Tom. Oh, see, Monsieur Tom, you must admit that a sister would know her own brother. Uh, this man, Miss Gregory, is positively not your brother. Tarzan is not my brother. Uh, but the resemblance... Extraordinary. Perhaps you begin to realize what Tarzan could have done to you in the attack had it not been for the presence of the ladies. And the natives, Atan, you can no longer count on their loyalty. Well, that is not a matter of interest to me now. The blacks have served their purpose. But uh, let us talk a little. This situation has possibilities. I think I understand the Atan. He means, why should we be enemies now? Exactly, Brian Gray, uh, Tarzan. Why? The city of our share is your goal. It is also mine. I seek a diamond in which you have no interest. Is that correct? So say vrai, Tarzan. Go on, Tom. You wish to find Miss Gregory's brother. Now that I have the map, our little uh, misunderstanding has been settled. I may even be able to aid you in your quest. Why not join forces? Musavi, I think he is a Tarzan. He knew young Gregory. Maybe he can help us. Uh, what do you say, Larson? Yeah, sure. I think it'd be a good idea. Helen, what do you say? I can only loathe the man responsible for my father's death. But of course, it's for you to decide. Well, if you all feel that way, we'll go on together. But we must have an understanding before we set out. No party can have two leaders. Home. I was about to suggest that I place myself uh, under your orders until we reach our destination. Miss Gregory, you must understand that I am deeply grieved at your father's death. I gave very strict orders that none of your party was to be harmed. Lal Task, a friend of many years, is also dead. It is quite too late to argue the question, Mr. Tone. As you wish, Miss Gregory. Wolf, 
Are you satisfied to continue under my orders? Naturally, sir. I am still under your orders. And you will continue with your former duties. And as soon as we gather the natives and our supplies... We will have little difficulty in that respect. We brought your supplies with us. They are not far from here under guard. Oh. Wolf, hereafter do your work without a whip. If there's any trouble with the bearers, I'll settle it. Ah, uh, don't worry. It makes the cold chills run up and down my back. Whatever you say goes. Yeah, mon vieux, it is arranged. But that been all right. But what about the equipment and supplies out there in the jungle? Oh, no, no. See that a tent is pitched for Helen and Margaret. They need rest. Entendu, I shall do just that. Uh, venez, Helen, Margaret. Wolf, Larson, we'll go with the natives and bring up the loads. We must be ready to start by sunrise. Yes, yeah, sure. Dawn, sudden, brilliant, and hot, finds the long queue of the safari safely across the river, with Larson again breaking trail. As they plunge into the shadowy depths, the sun beats diagonally into the purple mists of the jungle, spilling vague blue shadows along the forest paths. I still cannot understand, Tarzan, how you rounded up the bearers and straightened out that tangle of equipment in, in so short a time. It looked to me like in Castichin was a, a Chinese puzzle. The credit goes to Larson and Wolf. They did the work. <laughs> I've never seen natives so willing to work. Treat them like human beings, Tom, and they'll work gladly. Apparently so, for you. Uh, by the way, ladies, how did you sleep last night? <laughs> I always sleep well, Lieutenant. I hardly closed my eyes, Paul, after everything that happened yesterday. Mm, it was only a short rest, my chère Elaine, but soon... Shall... Ah! Are you here, Tarzan? It is Helene and Paul now. Yes, so I noticed. Mais dit donc, ma vieille branche. Vous savez, in the jungle, it seemed so unnecessary to be uh, formal and... Uh, of course, Dino, we all understand. Well, uh, well, I, I am glad that you Oh, do. Margaret, uh, are you completely over the fright you had this morning while we were crossing the river? What happened? I missed it. <laughs> Run after natives was carrying Margaret over on, on his back. Halfway across, a hippopotamus came up for air. Of course, he let out a terrible snort. Margaret screamed and threw both arms around the poor Nate's neck. <laughs> it was like the death grip of a drowning man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The poor fellow couldn't breathe. And the harder he struggled to keep his feet, the tighter Margaret hung on. Mr. Tom got up with him just then, untangled Margaret from the poor boy's Atom's apple, and carried her the rest of the way in his arms. <laughs> <laughs> enfin, at last I understand. What, Darno? Just after the crossing, one of the boys came to me, apparently in great pain. He kept pointing to his neck, and all he would say was, Buona, Buona, you make look see, me think him neck broke. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, Elaine, walk a little more slowly. Yes, Paul. Now, Tom, since we've joined forces, we might as well go over the whole matter, you and I. Gladly. What would you like to know? What is it, Paul? Before I awakened you this morning, I left Tom watching the tent and did a little something I thought you might like. Tell me. I carried your father to the top of the hill where we spent the night at the store. Oh, yes. Well, he is safe from marauding animals. He lies beneath a cairn of stones. I hope you... Oh, that was very sweet and thoughtful of you, Paul. It makes me like you more than ever. Poor darling. I, I'm trying very hard to to forget. Thank you, Paul. Oh, no, pa, le, pa. But come, or, or they will be, as the English say, spoofing us again. So you think we have about a week more of jungle, Tom? I should say so. You see, I have nothing more definite about our ultimate destination than you do. You are sure about that, Tom? Why should I not be frank with you now? Margaret, Laltask, and I were members of young Gregory Safari. I read of the father of diamonds in his diary. I wanted it. Naturally, I believed he was trying to get the gem for himself. You tell me now that he was interested only in scientific research. That's quite true, Mr. Tone. Uh, when your brother disappeared, we searched for him. 
But the jungle seemed to have swallowed up even the slightest trace. But, Monsieur Tong, I am surprised a man as determined as you should be balked by any such obstacle. Circumstances beyond my control forced me to turn back, Lieutenant. And how far do you think you were from Tu and Baca when you turned back? I am not certain, but I believe we were about three days' trek from the edge of the jungle. The edge of the jungle? Mm -hmm. One of the natives knew that part of the country, and... We learned from him that we were near the end of the forest. All vegetation ceased, and that beyond that point there were no trees, no grass. I gathered it must have been some kind of a desert. Throughout the long, hot day, the safari forges ahead at a slow, steady pace. Nightfall finds them once more securely camped within the encircling shelter of their thornbush boma. As Larson finishes telling one of his laughable anecdotes, Helen rises from her place near the fire. <laughs> well, if you expect me to get up with the sun tomorrow, Tarzan, I'll have to get some sleep. Good night, everybody. Good, Good night, night Helen. <laughs> Ah, Brian Gregory's sister is charming. You have my word, Tarzan, that I will do all I can to help you in your search for her brother. Thank you, Tom. But we won't know what our problem is until we meet it. And then, as Dom says, we'll see what we'll see. Well, I am going to join Helen. Perhaps I will get some of the sleep I lost last night. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, uh, <clears throat> let's get this story you told straight now, Larson. You know, I heard that same story a couple of years ago down on the Ivory Coast. Larson, is Helen down there with you? No. Isn't she in her tent? No. I cannot find her. Mm -hmm. One. Oh. Helen! Helen! Just a minute, Dono. Keep quiet, everyone. Helen! Helen! Oh, Elaine, my petite ange, I will find you. I will find you. Elaine, Elaine. Without stopping to pick up even a rifle, the Frenchman dashes madly toward the opening in the boma. Filled with an unreasoning rage, he crashes blindly through the thorn fence and disappears. <laughs> 